And now for the last unfinished story mission, I'm pretty sure. Old Hyrule United, there's only four Koroks to find, two at the beginning and two at the end. Let's go. Koroks, the Korok sensor on any other characters just become unnecessary. Unless there's going to be, there's probably going to be more missions like this that have Koroks. There's also challenges that have Koroks to find, so. Okay, so our first one appears to be out down here somewhere. I think it's probably down in this little area here. And there's not much down here except for maybe crates, so let me go through those and hope. Maybe it's not down here, maybe it's further up. Down this very edge of the map. Oh, there's a little side area over here. Oh, this is where one was hidden that first time we came here, isn't it? Yep, hello. Let's just freeze. Let's just freeze you if I can, please, game. Let's just freeze. Come on, please. And now, let's hit that. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's one down. I can't remember how long they were. I think there were six that we needed to collect, so... it's another five to go. And I guess I will be back whenever I find another one. Or get the sensor to start glowing at me. There's a lot of area to cover, so... Yeah. Okay, so there's another one down here somewhere. Towards the bottom of the map. On this side. So, let's see if we can find it. It's a couple of crates. I think I might have passed it or went a further away than I needed to be. It might be in this outpost down here. No. Less signal. It's around here somewhere. Oh. Uh, okay. That works. Four to go. Okay, there's another one around here somewhere, apparently, in Lon Lon Ranch. So let's see if we can find that. And it's probably over here somewhere. If I had to guess, no, further up north. Maybe. Oh, very close now. Might even be able to see it. Maybe. Where? Where is it? Where is it? Let me zoom in on the map so I have a better look around. It's not here. Can't. I really hope it's not. On oh, there it is. Okay, let's grab it. Three out of six. Halfway there. Okay, there's also another one just above the ranch. The ranch. Um. But where? It's probably a little bit more obvious than I realize. But is it back or is it forward? Where is it? It's very close. The lighting is making it a little bit difficult to see them though. I wonder if it's a thing that I need to blow up. Because I'll make it a little bit simple. Than it already is, I guess. But also I don't know where it is. So I'm going to just take out a few things quickly. And then I'll figure it out. Come on. Come on Zelda, you can do better than this. Please. Thank you. Okay, now I can get rid of the use guardian. And hopefully I can see the Korok while I'm fighting so I can actually do it. Ow. Oh, is that the Korok over there? Or is that the tree that fell down? I'm not sure. I can't see from here at the moment. 
I also might not be close enough and just not realize it. Okay, that's just the tree. But it's really beeping at me now. Oh, I see it. It's over there. It's not even on this side. It's on the little tip point of that other part of the map. So let's go around. Once this cutscene goes away. I also still love how the pillars around Hyrule Castle turn blue after you beat the game. So I went to go down this way and around here and it's th this little pinwheel. So there we go. Two more, two more to go. So it turns out I just misremembered and it wasn't the first two and the, the middle two and the last two. It was just the first two and the last two. So with that, that's all of the chapter, main story chapters, Korok Seeds and Treasure Chests. So now, let's have a look at challenges. Because on very rare occasions, like Mifa's training, there's a Korok Seed to find. The problem with this means though, is that restricted allies is going to make things difficult because not all of our characters have um, Korok sensor on their weapons. So we're going to have to actually have a look around and hopefully actually just find it without a Sheik sensor. Let's go. Okay, well, starting off, it's probably a good idea to check where we started. Although it's doubtful that it's actually up here, I think. Very doubtful. Yeah, it looks like I can't get in. Doesn't appear to be anything over here. I'm hoping it's not one of the ones that you have to blow up some rocks for, because I will not know what to do about that. It's also possible that it's just on this one of the side paths. Oh, there it is. Found it. Cool. Now I just need to actually complete the mission and then uh, he'll be done. So it shouldn't take too long to actually just get rid of all these enemies considering it's uh, four minutes remaining. And I'm also level 66, so this is going to be not a problem. There we go, so now let's go back to challenges and go through this again since I have to do it every single time to make sure I find everything. Oh, I just wish it said on the name. Okay, cross the Hebra Mountains. It's not restricted allies. <coughs> so let's change up a bit. Also, I off screen. I upgraded everyone's weapons a little bit, so they're a lot higher than they were before, as you can see. But some of them, like Rivali and Impa, have over 100 attack on their weapons. Obosa's close third with 90. Lynx needs to be... Well, this tree branch can't get upgraded any further because it's at level 30. Level 30 is apparently the max. I, I checked to see if I could upgrade it any more. Uh, but apparently I can't increase any more levels, so... But anyway, let's go with Link, I guess, in this tree branch. And let's hopefully find what we need. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we can find. It's nice having the uh, Korok sensor again. It's definitely going to make it a little bit easier to find the Korok in this level. Start getting it rid of everything in here. Oh, come on, please. Thank you. Oh, and I also need the Icy Lizalfo's Tails, so I'm going to try and get rid of as many of these as I can. I need quite a lot of Icy Lizalfo's Tails, so... I'm gonna yeah. Okay, that one's dead. Oh, Octorox. Okay. I'm guessing the 
Korok is on the far path. Or possibly is just in one of these boxes. It's probably that one. Yep, there we go. Okay, well I'm gonna keep grinding for Ice of the Zephyr's Tales and I'll be with you in a minute. Or a second. Probably a second. Unless I keep stalling right now. I only got two Icy Lizalfo's Tales from that. That's disappointing. Anyway, let's go back to here. And I think this is where we were going through. Yeah, across the Hebron Mountains. And then let's keep going down. 21 to 30. I might have already got this one. Possibly. Hang on, was that it? No. Got that one already. Our anti guys training too. Innkeeper's Request, though. Haven't got that yet. So let's go through the rest of this list quickly to make sure there's nothing else in this level range because if there isn't then I can just get this and then move on to the next set of levels there's a lot of challenges in this set okay that is the only one so where is it? innkeeper's request not restricted allies, just time limited, which is okay with me, because I'm very overpowered. Also, we have a third, we have, Link has 31 hearts at the moment, so we're going to have a lot of hearts by the end of this. Oh my goodness, he's bouncing so high. It's because I keep pressing it as soon as the jump button as soon as he hits the ground and he just keeps going so high. Okay, let's go. Um, well, a good start would probably just be going back this way to check to make sure I'm not missing anything back here. Which doesn't seem like I am, which is good. So let's head back the other direction before I run out of time. And there's a little uh, side path with the electric wizard on it, which probably is where the Korok is going to be, if I had to guess. So let's have a look. Just need to actually make sure I don't fail this um, this challenge, although that's unlikely. Can I get rid of you, please? Perfect timing, wow. Okay, well the cork is in this direction, so let's find out where exactly. It looks like it's up there. It's a pinwheel. Let's go ahead and grab that and then I will finish off the other outposts and the Lionel that's in this level, which is good because I need Lionel parts for stuff I'm pretty sure. So I'll be with you in a, another second. There we go, and now just quickly, I want to go to the forge because I want to, I want to kind of explain something I'd recommend. But I don't know who to pick. Let's go with King Rome. So the way I'd recommend probably forging stuff from now on, well, just probably from the beginning of the game, but I just didn't know how I should do it because no one really knows how you should do it at the beginning of the game. But I'd select like I'd try to merge the same type into itself, and then if you can get stronger weapons which look the same from later on in the game you should probably start forging stuff into those so that they have more attack overall when you start doing that so this is my soldiers claymore which I'm gonna merge my other two soldiers claymores into to increase that every character should have at least three types of weapons that are basically the same but just in different in different levels basically there's like one that's lowest and then there's one medium, and then there's one which is their best weapon type, basically. But anyway, now that that's done, let's head back to our main objective. I think I did that one, probably. I really... yes. Oh, where's the end? Here. 30 to 31. No, 31 to 40. I can see the things on the screen.
I'm guessing there's going to be a lot in this tab as well. Or not. Apparently there's no Korok seeds in that tab. That's very interesting. Probably from a part of the game that doesn't have much um, in it, I guess. Well, we've got the wing winged escort Korok seed already. So what else do we have, if anything? We have Defend Zora's Domain. And just quickly, I'm gonna see if I can get to, oh, there's an elemental uproar. Okay, there's a few in this tab. Especially because of how long this tab is. Okay, there we go. So let's go, what was it? Defend Zora's Domain, right, and then elemental uproar. So let's have a look at this, and I think I'll take, uh, this is actually a pretty good, I might go with this, these two characters, because Link is good, and he's level 87 now, but he, but his weapon isn't as good as Impa's at the moment, so I'll use Impa to clean up after I've actually done the Korok. Here we go. Capture all the outposts. Who do you think I am? And what do you think I'm able to do? Well, first off, I need to make sure I know where the Korok is and then go do everything else, probably. Also, this is a very... Oh, this is an interesting level. I remember this level, I think. No, this is... I'm just thinking... Oh, it's up this path. I barely got a light glow. But I nearly missed it because I was about to turn in the other direction. Okay, well, let's grab that, and then I'm going to be back whenever I finish this quest, which shouldn't take too long. But anyway, I'm going to send Link down there. But you, don't, you didn't really need to know that. Also, by doing the method of forging that I mentioned earlier, you're probably more likely to get... Uh... Oh, what's it called? You're probably more likely to earn the, or figure out what weapons have Korok sensor on it by leveling them up, because you have at least one of each weapon type, so. But anyway, let's go to Elemental Uproar, which I remember this one very specifically. There's two Korok seeds in it, which is, means that it'd be a good idea to take Zelda with us as well as Link, since that means that's two people with uh, the Korok sensor. Let's see what we can find. Oh, this is not what I thought it was, but that's okay. Because I am still going to be alright. As long as I can search this vast area for what I need. I do actually remember what this one was now, though. It's not the one I was thinking about, but it's, it's definitely one that I know. Somewhat. So let's get rid of all of you. And I hope there's actually some... Oh, what's it called? Some ice was outpost in this level, because I still need those. Okay, let's go to view. I have to also figure out where Korok's gonna be, but I have to actually open up more of the level first. Okay, good, ice was outpost. Just what I need. As long as I can have enough of them. Considering I only have four ice was outpost tails at the moment, I'm definitely gonna need a lot more than that. I need like 20, so. I'm pretty sure these are Ice Eagles Alphos. I really hope so. If I'm wrong, that's very disappointing. Ow. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me while I'm trying to hurt you. There we go. That's this outpost cleared. Let's head on over to Zelda. Ah, pain. Might even do this a little bit. Yeah, that works. A little bit. Oh my goodness, why is everything exploding? It's fine. Also, did Zelda, did Zelda switch weapon? But why? Oh my goodness. That means there's only one character with... Oh, I might have accidentally switched to the bow of light when I was upgrading things. That would make sense. That's annoying. 
but it would make sense. Now I'm gonna take a look around probably. If I can, since I can't use a Korok sensor down here. I have to do it all manually. I'm hoping that it's not too hard to actually just find it by itself somewhere. Um, I'm guessing it's in this direction. One of them at least. There might also be one where Impa is. I think the... Uh, no, it's not open enough for every character to be, get, go everywhere. Okay. Uh, it's not over here. I'm now getting a little bit concerned. Oh my goodness, this map is a little bit difficult to figure out sometimes. That's closed off. Please be up this side path. Otherwise, I'm going to be spending a while figuring this out. And I might actually need to replay. I'm guessing it's one of these boxes at the very least might have something for me. Maybe. Hopefully. So that's three boxes. Is there anything down here? No rocks to blow up. Okay, I guess not down this way then. Which is quite unfortunate. So let's hope it's somewhere out here. There's no time limit, at least, so that's good. For now. Um, there's a lot of area to go through. What I should probably do, though, is actually get Link to look around. And even if he can't go into other places, he can still get near other places and ha have the sensor tell me if it's near one of the edges that he's closest to. Basically. Nothing up there. This is not looking good so far. It's not looking good at all. Yeah, I can't even sense anything over here, so it looks like Link doesn't have any Korok seeds near him. Of course, the one character that has it doesn't have any Koroks near him. Oh my goodness, um, I guess that means I should switch to Imper and actually go back if I can, because there is the, another area that I didn't go around in over there. It's also just back here. That's part of the outpost, but you don't usually go back there. Purposefully or accidentally. Oh my goodness, there's so much area. Surely there's something over here. A lot of boxes. So maybe it's in a box? Maybe? Though it's probably not knowing Koroks. They're usually a little bit more obvious. I don't like how some of these boxes aren't actually boxes. You know? When a box isn't actually a box, but it looks like a box. It's just, uh, sad. Okay, I'm not seeing any Koroks over here. Which is concerning. So I guess... They're gonna be out here somewhere. And also in Zelda's area. Oh, but where? Also over here, I could check. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a little bit more involved than I'd like it to be. Stasis. Oh, very nice absorbing skill. Use our force powered special then. Okay, that got rid of both of them. Let's go check in other places then. Man, I wish I didn't change Zelda's weapon because I would have made this a little bit more or less concerning. A little bit easier. Less. Yeah. It was a big mistake to accidentally switch that. And a big mistake to not even check it after I selected her to play as for this level. Oh, let's blow you up. 
please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is happening right now? I didn't have a chance to even absorb symbols from that because I was just going to all out on him. It's nice having uh, over 100 attack on my weapon. Um, that was where Link could go to, I'm pretty sure, and I don't think... Maybe there was a Croc over there and I just didn't realize it because I didn't go all the way in. Like, I really hope not, because that means problems. Just all around problems. Is there anything over here? No? Oh my goodness. Ah! Let me switch over to Link. And actually, no, maybe I won't switch over to Link. Could I actually go over there? No, I can't. That's that's completely separate. Okay. Oh, oh. I could send Zelda over there. So, don't do that. Send Zelda over to there. And then, I guess I'll stick with Link and clean up over here. Hopefully I can figure this out. Oh, please. Oh, Link. Link, why aren't you turning? He was actually not turning. I guess it works though, because he... The... the Talus just... Made a mistake. I need to level up the Master Sword a little bit more. It's a little bit hard to um, upgrade the Master Sword because there aren't other weapons. You don't get we Master Sword drops. So you can upgrade it faster, but... Because I'm pretty sure if you merge... Two weapons that are the same, you get more XP from it. It also could just be that the Master Sword's really strong and it doesn't want you to make it stronger, easier, so that could be the other thing. But I don't know, let's just weak point smash this stone talus. This igneo talus, sorry. It's technically different, slightly. Okay, Zelda, please tell me you have better news. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. Probably. Gonna go absolutely insane trying to find these Koroks. Uh, which way am I trying to go? This way. There's literally nothing. It seems surprisingly open. Oh, there's a Korok there. Good, that's one down. If I can grab it, please. Thank you. Now, where's this thing here? So this is just nothing. So where's the other Korok going to be then, if it's not this way? I think there's still some other areas for Zelda to explore in, so I'm going to attempt to explore all around here. Well, so there's this little dent over here. Does it have anything for me? Yes, it does. Cool. Got all the Koroks. Okay. And with that, I believe that's probably it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.